Hi there, Lester Fields here. Months ago I had spied a poster for excavator power armor and thought to investigate it further. Well, life and scorch beasts got in the way and I found myself doing other things. But recently I was scouting near Garahan Mining Headquarters and found another poster for that unique looking power armor. And so I decided to make time to investigate this time. Heading inside, my trip is almost ended abruptly by a mine, which I have to jump to avoid. Passing through a door, I enter a large reception area where I'm ambushed by Scorched. After taking them out, I make my way over to the reception terminal and start reading about excavator queries. I'm now directed to consult the project manager's terminal, which lies deeper into the facility. Making my way down into what appears to be research and development, I'm accosted by more Scorched. Once they're dealt with, I find a holotape entitled Harold Frost's R&D Holotape. I give it a listen. I can't believe we lost. We had one chance to prove that our excavator power armor could beat the Hornwright Auto Miner and we blew it. Why Vivian came up with her ridiculous challenge is Hunt me. She never even consulted with us. Just, just rolled it out there like a prize fight. The newspapers got a hold of it. Everything blew out of proportion. Now we're the laughing stock of the mining industry. I mean, who in their right mind would buy any products from us after that? No one. So here I am, staring at the phone, waiting for the inevitable call to shut the R&D department down. That all our chips on this project and Garahan Mining has wiped out. I wonder if Hornwright is hiring. So Garahan Mining pitted their excavator armor against Hornwright's auto miner and lost some sort of competition. Harold seems sure the bigwigs at Garahan would be handing him his pink slip after that though whether or not it happened before the bombs fell is not clear. Moving on, I find the project manager's terminal. Here I find the excavator module blueprints, and I now have the knowledge of how to build the myriad pieces of the excavator power armor. There are two nearby power armor stations, one of which I utilize to build the excavator armor upon an empty power armor chassis. Of course, I lack all the components to make the entire set. And so I travel far and wide to find or purchase the bits and baubles I need.
Back once again to Garahan Mining. I finished building the full suit of excavator power armor and now must register it. Going over to the power armor skin, I do just that. I'm rewarded for completing this task with the plans to build a power armor station at my camp, something that will come in very handy indeed. The excavator power armor is a unique set in that it provides much more extra carry weight than the other sets like the T60 or X01, and the limbs can even be modded for more carry weight if one were to so choose. But that's not all. Whenever I come across a vein of some metal, like iron or silver, wearing the excavator allows me to mine much more of the material than I normally could on my own, and that's a big plus for crafting. After I'm done test driving my new suit, I return to camp for some rest and relaxation. But I'll be back to the wasteland soon enough. Stay safe out there, vault dwellers, and until next time, thanks so much for watching.